Hey, I'm Mike, and we're going to be changing the fuel filters on an 85G. Purchase fuel filters on FordisHD.com, and if you've broken your water separator pool, we can get that for you too. To service the fuel filters on your 85G, you'll need a primary fuel filter. You'll also need a secondary fuel filter. Aftermarket equivalents are below. If you're doing this service yourself, make it easy and purchase one of our service kits that will have every filter you need. FortisHD.com Special thanks to Tecmo HD for providing the mechanical expertise seen in this video. If you need to book a mechanic, reach out at TecmoHD.com. It's on your right side of your compartment here. Just open up your door. And you've got your two fuel filters right here and your priming pump. When you're changing these, they leak a bit, so minimize the cleanup efforts after. Let's put a Zorby over there. Yeah, you can use strap wrenches on these ones. Uh, for this one, I'm just using filter pliers. I like to use a parts bag, flip over these things, because they can make a mess. No mess. Yeah, catch a little drip there. Grab your new filter, lube up your O-ring on top. Then you got to press down a little bit. It's got two seals on it. And then tighten it up, just hand tight. On to the next one. Okay. So this one's your water fuel separator. So you're going to have a water and fuel sensor in the bottom. And you're going to need to remove this bowl here. In order to do that, you're going to need to undo your harness connector. And you can't mess it up. This one's directional, so it only goes one way when you go to plug it back in. And right at the bottom here, it's got a drain. So you can put something under there to catch the fuel. Then you've got your shutoff right here. And you switch that that way. And now you're going to want to have fuel running into this while you're draining out your bowl. And let it drain. Be very careful if you're going to use these on here. Because I do make a proper fuel bowl spanner. And they work both on John Deere and Hitachi. There's a little red ring in there. So you can see when it's full of water. When you see that thing floating. Too much water in your fuel. And drain it out. Should be draining these daily. All that's your water and your fuel. Make sure once you remove your filter and the bowl. That you clean out the sediment bowl and uh, replace the necessary o-rings because they're sometimes there for the uh, water drain on the bottom and then your o-ring on the top for your ceiling now you got a clean sediment bowl new filter pop this in there and it'll sit there with the seal order the o-ring for it because it's good to replace them every time hand tight make sure your drain's tight water and peel sensor connector clean that up and turn your shut off on this one has an electric priming pump there. So you just turn the key on and it'll prime up the fuel walls. So once you've uh, primed up the fuel system there, start it up. That's changing the fuel filters on an 85G. If you don't have time to do the service yourself or you want to get on a preventative maintenance program, reach out to techmohd.com and they can set you up with a heavy duty mechanic in your area.